Flight Test. I'm Josh, this is Josh. Hi. And this is a very exciting day. A very special day. As you can see, we're at a different location here. This is where the magic happens. We have a giant laser cutter over there. Right there, yes. That we use for something that we're gonna talk to you about right now. It, it costs money to keep the show running, believe it or not. It costs a lot of money because we wanna keep the production value high, we wanna keep the experience good. And we, we brought the amazing Swede down and we brought him on the team That's because his name. we wanna give you guys honest critiques of, of good products or bad products for that matter. That's right. That costs money because we're doing it out of our own pocket now. That's right. And then we can't we can't make that back in just t-shirts and stickers. No. So those help out and we're happy to supply those for you guys. But that brings us to our next phase. People wanted to give us donations. They're like, just put a donation tab. We want to give you guys money. And, and thank we, you. We love you guys, but we don't want your money. We want to give you something of value if we're going to take your money. That's right. And now we, we want your money, but we want to give you something in we, return. You deserve something in return, yes. And what did we what did we come up with a solution? Uh, we came up with the flight test speed build kits. That's yes. Right. Now, let's just address something before we even open the box. Scratch build build video, scratch build plans. Are they always going to be free? Yes. Yes, they will be free. And if the day they're not free, you unsubscribe and you talk bad about us to everyone you know. Everybody. Okay? Anything we design, anything that we do a build video on, we'll always have free plans. We'll always have free build videos. Now, scratch building can be kind of intimidating for people. Dangerous if you're not used to working with razor blades. That's right. It could be dangerous. And uh, a lot of the younger generation, they just don't get into it. And you know what? We want to get the younger generation. We want to get the kids involved. Yeah. And, and the dads want to build with the kids. But when you're dropping 100 bucks for an airplane um, to fly, and I love the Bixler, but they're still ready to fly around 100 bucks. Yeah, it's not really that great. You don't want one getting busted up. You know, you don't want to have that investment loss, and you don't want the kid having that stress of, of failure. Right. You want a good, durable design that can take a beating, can and take some sloppy And it can easily building. be fixed. Yes. Which you can. They're wondering what's in the box, right? I know, they are. All right, let's open there. For the first 100 kits, you actually get stickers. Stickers. Free. Three stickers for three airplanes. Right. How's that? Nice. And along with the build videos, you're also going to get a pretty cool little card with the history of the card or the plane, why it was designed, and also all the stats, the weights, the recommended equipment, everything on there, and a little bit of a story behind it as well. And a picture of you. We put a lot of heart into this. Um, Chad wanted to really ensure that the quality was the highest it possible could, possibly could be. There you go. Something called the experience. When you guys build this, that it's gonna be a good experience. You're gonna like what you get, that everything is very well thought out and very well meticulously fit together without being intimidating. And also right. the parts were to a minimum. Yeah. So. We got this. All right, let's open up. First of all, this thing yeah, one is packaged very well. Yeah. And yeah. trust me, we put it through its pace. We, we, we figured out a way to package these simple foam models in a way that shouldn't be damaged too bad. What you've got in here is a bunch of pre-cut pieces. You don't have to make the measurements yourself. Everything is, yeah. is ready to go. We actually even put laser etched basic instructions on what style fold you're gonna need. Um, and we also put CG positions. We also threw things in our little hardware package, like some simple foam wheels, some throw gauges, uh, extra bamboo skewers, extra parts. And uh, guys, we never shied away from this from the beginning. The whole goal around the swappable series was cheap. We want you to be able to go to general stores, not have to order anything special. So we kept that true with these kits. Right. Barbecue skewers, popsicle sticks, zip ties, everything we're using in here is the exact same as what you can get at the store. So the benefit is once you get over this hump with these kits, you're not going to need to come back to us and say, oh man, I wrecked a wing or I, I busted something up, I need another kit. We want you guys to be able to basically enable you to continue in the hobby, right. not make you slaves to the hobby having to order parts from us. So before you take these out, if you want, grab some poster board, trace them out, make copies for your friends. We want to get people into the hobby. We want people to have a good experience with this. We have the FT Flyer, the Nutball, and the Delta. Now the goal behind this is to give you a one, two, three step into the swappable series. Uh, hopefully the FT Flyer would be a perfect first plane. We also mentioned in our little pamphlets on why we uh, pick it for the first plane, the characteristics of the airplane, what it will do and how it'll benefit you in your flying skills. The lasers do something weird. The lasers kind of undercut the uh, foam on the inside of the paper. A little bit of a recess. But the good thing is, is that it actually uh, gives a little more rigidity to the paper yeah. itself. And one thing, we are always using common materials. Foam board likes to peel and it also likes to warp. Yeah. Okay. With the laser cutting through that, it actually makes it much more difficult for the paper to peel from the edges, which is a good thing. Also comes with accessory package. You got your uh, firewall, you got your barbecue skewers, control push horns. rods, control horns. Yep. Uh, in a matter of fact, ties. let's show them this, this firewall here. Firewall, we put a lot of thought into it. 
we actually laser cut holes that will line up with the typical 24 gram motors, but we do go to bigger motors in the future, don't we? Yes. So what we also did is for the bigger motors, we put laser holes so all your screws will self-thread and tap right into that. We also included the hole for your wires to go through. So there's no more cutting holes in the side of your fuselage. Right. Um, it cleans up the whole, uh, I guess, wiring process. Yeah. Everything's good. So we dialed that in a lot more. And we also came out, if you guys have seen with our building videos, we came out with better control horns. And uh, these control horns are custom cut. It goes right into the actual uh, elevator of the airplane or yeah. the rudder, oh, depending on what it is. But everything is cut exactly with the laser. So it just slides right in. There's no guessing and trying to line it up perfectly mm -hmm. over the hinge line. Right. And a matter of fact, you did your first scratch I did. build. I did. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I did it all by myself. My very first scratch build was, was the FT Flyer, mm -hmm. and it took like half an hour. You did it pretty much half an hour before yeah. we got here. Well, believe it or not, uh, because of just like the business of my schedule, this is the first time that I've actually done the complete build by myself without your hands on it yes. at all. It didn't touch anything. That's right. And that can be really intimidating, but not really with this kit. You know, with everything coming pre-cut and uh, you know, with the plans. Every one of these builds is gonna have its own unique video, specific, you know, control horns, everything, specifically what you pull out of the kit and what you put on the airplane. Right. On top of that, for everyone out there that wants a scratch build, we're redoing the plans for these planes. We're gonna have them pre-tiled and in a PDF and also illustrated instructions. So all you need to do is download it. You'll get all your step-by-step -step instructions illustrated, very clear to understand, and also your tiled plans for free. How much does that cost? For free. It's free? It'll never cost you a penny. Like I said, our, our ultimate goal, we gotta support flight tests, but we wanna get you guys a good experience in the hobby, and we wanna give you guys the tools to get other peoples in the hobby too. Right. Peoples. peoples. Other people in the hobby as well. And this is what I turned out with. Yeah. All by my say yeah. Let's point out one thing. We do give you guys wheels and they look really funny. They do. But they work really good. So these uh it just adds to the scratch build, yeah. you know. Once again, theme. simple materials, coffee stirs for the um, inside hubs and the, the laser cut foam wheels. They're remarkably durable. What was your hardest thing on this building? Truthfully. The the most the scariest thing about it was doing something wrong because I didn't want to run out of, of pieces. Well, you don't have to worry because we do include extra bamboo skewers, zip ties, um, extra pieces. So if you screw something up, you most likely will have something extra in there. Yeah. And, and since I'll, this is all common materials, you can go to the store and get it. And I was definitely glad that all of these, all, all of the cuts, all the angles, all the measurements, all all these notches were already pre-cut. I didn't and have to worry about any of that myself. The push broads are also pre-bent as well too. Um, no, a, yeah, that's right. A lot right. of people don't have access to, you see in here, can you see that? You shouldn't need anything more than hot glue, sandpaper, some tape, and um, love. Yeah, love. Love. That's the most important Lots ingredient. Lots of love. Most difficult thing actually was putting the uh, landing gear on because the, of this mosaic bun. of rubber band wrapping you have to do on the bottom here. The U bungee system, huh? Is yeah. that what it is? Now you can actually zip tie this if you wanted to, but yeah, we put a rubber band in, so if you do a hard landing, the thing will physically bend for you. Take a world of abuse. Yeah. And speaking of abuse, there was a real specific reason why we picked these three designs. We want to make this so you can crash it hard. You, you can you can go out there and you can afford to have a crash, a dirt nap, uh, a ding, um, have have a rough experience and experience a little bit of failure, but still have an airplane that you can field repair, put some tape on, and get it back up in the air. Um, we actually have Dave and I collided. If you look at our intro, yeah, we collided and he took a big old shark bite out of my wing. That plane still flew, even with a big old chunk out of one and a half of the wing on the FT Flyer, it still flew amazing. <laughs> but my kids like flying the FT Flyers, but you know what, they, they go out and they, they fly them in the damp grass, they get them wet, and sadly with the foam board, is the foam will warp. Yeah, that, that's, that's one right. of the downsides. And they're also flammable. So when I light mine on fire and try to fly it, it only flies for so long before it before comes it burns back down. Up. With that said, these things will take in a ton of abuse. They can get a little warp, they can get dinged up. They're still gonna fly amazingly well. Each kit has its own pod. Each kit has its own firewall. So theoretically, if you Does were, it come with one pod? It's no, swappable? Three pods. Three different three pods. Three pods. Each kit is well, a standalone complete kit as far as a component. So you could theoretically, if you were a dad and two kids, you could all build your own airplane. And all fly them simultaneously. Yes. Now, with using uh, the foam material, there are a few. We'll call them hurdles. Call them, yeah, hurdles, not yeah. setbacks. They're bad things about foam. One thing is, uh, if they take an impact or anything like that, they might crinkle. You may get some crinkle, but the nice thing is, is the paper is going to give you a lot of structural ability. Okay, but if you can see, this one even has a crinkle from some bad flying. 
The other thing is, is people don't like weighted planes. They want to paint them. They want to decorate them. Yeah. Now, I like painting planes. Yes. But if you do You it have wrong, to know how. Yeah. So here's the thing. This is Dollar Tree foam board. Before you go and, and throw on a paint job, experiment with a piece of Dollar Tree foam board. Yeah. Or just grab one of the other so kits. So what, what would you like. say is the key? The key to success with this is light mist coats. One thing I also do is with my mask, when I mask this off, I'll actually take the uh, masking tape and I'll rub it against my shirt and get some of the fuzz on it yeah. and release some of the stickiness on it. Or you can put it on a building board and, and just get some of the tackiness. So you don't rip off the paper. So you don't you... rip off the paper. Yeah. And then when you pull the tape off, you pull it nice and smooth and it comes right off with no problems whatsoever. Okay, so, so make sure you practice. Practice. If you're gonna do it, light yes. mist and make your trees happy trees. Or if, <laughs> if you don't like painting, just like over here, go to vinyl. Vinyl works beautifully. Okay. Another so, thing is fire. Don't let it catch on fire. Yeah, they don't like fire. Another thing is water. Water! Try not to get these things saturated with water because they will warp and also the uh, paper can pull so, away. So flying it in the snow? Not a good idea. Not a good idea. All right, so let's see what else we got in here. All this, right. Uh, is for the Delta, yep, is that right? you've already torn into that okay. bag. And as you would expect, it comes with an iPhone. Does not come with an Flight iPhone. Test iPhone. <laughs> not. Five, that's, not, that's, that's David's iPhone. It's David's iPhone. Sorry, David, I didn't know. How do you get that out of the pocket? And there was another big reason why we are pursuing this direction uh, with flight tests also, and that is for the educational benefit. Right. Uh, we really wanted to be able to bring this hobby to as many people as possible, but there's also a lot to learn uh, through building one of these. And what we'd like to do is we, we have the ability now to make this in large bulk orders uh, for schools, groups, uh, community groups, churches. Um, the benefit of, of group builds, of group education, and even we can help design a curriculum around, you know, wing loading, calculating, you know, the physics, the geometry, to, to help it benefit kids and give them more education than just the aviation. Nice. We can even help them with electronic orders and giving them guidance in that avenue too. Right. So we want to really bring this hobby to as many people as possible. And when you do that, you don't want razor blades. You don't want things that can cut them. You want a good positive experience right out of the back. Our goal is to give you guys the ability not to have to download the plans, not to have to worry about the razor blades, to have the educational benefit and also have a great first experience. And also, these things work as great patterns. You take a raw piece of Dollar Tree foam, slap this down, trace it with your pencil, you have a nice hard pattern. You can actually just take these, use them as patterns, throw them to the side, and build your own scratch builds. If you ever run into a problem, you're good to go. You have an so, FT flyer for life. Yeah, but truthfully, we're not shying away from this. We want you guys to be able to go out, download plans, cut them out, and do everything self-supporting. We do not want to make you slaves to this, but we do want to give you an amazing experience for the dollar amount. And I guess that is where we talk about the actual dollar So with amount. all that considered, how much would you expect to pay for a kit like this? We're going to price it for 33 bucks. We're going to do it for 15 bucks a piece, but we're going to knock it down to 33 bucks. That for comes everything. out to roughly $11 per plane. So it was 45 but now for you, it's 33. Yeah. And with that, you get the FT Flyer, the Delta, the Nutball, all of your hardware. We also are going to include um, recommendations for the electronics. Yes. And there will be links on our site uh, to multiple different suppliers. Not so, just Hobby Kit, right. not just- You can go uh, to your favorite Microplanes. supplier. Favorite supplier, but also the benefit is say it's out of stock. Right. We'll have multiple links to different people so you can always find your hardware that you need and not have to wait a month to get it. So you get the recommendation. The first hundred get the stickers. You get an iPhone. You get all this iPhone. Phone. Yeah. Chad, okay. we gotta talk about the iPhone. All right, not the iPhone. Don't get an iPhone. Okay. You do not get an iPhone. People are gonna people are gonna get cranky now. I'm pulling for you guys. Say say the words. You I'm do pulling. not get an iPhone. There's no iPhone. There's no iPhone. There is never an iPhone. Okay. I'll see what else do you get though? Josh's iPhone you, in there. You get wheels. You get a rubber band. That's pretty cool. That's worth 33 bucks right there. <laughs> you get Velcro, you get the barbecue skewers. We did include extra components as well for you too. So if you do do a miscut, you're good to go. You said do do. Uh, for the first 100, we want to know what you guys think about yes. it so we can make some adjustments on it as well. So we're going to run 100. We're going to sell 100 hopefully very quickly because we have them all cut out right there. On the shelf over there. Yeah, and uh, we're ready to go with that. After that, we're going to take you guys' input. We're going to apply it. And hopefully, if this goes well, we're going to include all of our other swappables and also ones in the future that haven't yeah. come to the show yet. Yeah. So that the uh, your your build level of experience can continue to grow from the more basic stuff to yep. uh, something yeah that's a little more complicated. Yes, all still made out of common materials, all still readily available at any store. Right. But also building your skills in flying and building. This is our new direction financially where Flight Test is going because we want to be self-supporting. And you guys are now our official sponsor, so we want to thank you sincerely yeah, thank you. for supporting and perpetuating Flight Test into the future. Right, so you can click on the uh, store link on our website and you can go there and buy stickers or t-shirts 
or the Speedbuilt kit. Yep. And, uh, Even limited edition chrome gremlins. Right. So thank you very much. Thank and, you for uh, your support. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. See you next time.